Well, it's um, uh, Monday, so it's been quite a longish day. Uh, we had um, one of the longer shifts, so I worked from 9 till 6.30, so um, it's quite a long day. And then I went to Castle Point, did some shopping. Um, I was going to vlog this, but uh, I still needed to do the upload, and that's some good news. I've managed to get a full upload, and it is now online, so... Uh, so there it uh, goes, but um, yeah, um, uh, I'm going to be heading off to bed shortly, and um, it's quite late, and I say it's uh, quite a busy day tomorrow as well too, so um, I will see you guys tomorrow, and uh, hopefully catch up, I'll probably do um, a what's in my fridge tomorrow as well, but uh, yeah, anyway, see you tomorrow. Well, it's uh, Tuesday today, so um, yeah, it was uh, had a quite a good day. So um, we had a um, sort of event thing at work today. So we got our sort of three hours off our telephone rolls, but um, we had a sort of like uh, we we got coached to um, a local hotel where we sort of kind of had like a meeting, sort of annual update. And it was really quite good. Um, had a really good time there. Um, had a uh, had a um, had a couple of sessions as well. Where we sort of like worked on um, uh, sort of updates on our, our current management uh, sort of details. So uh, uh, sort of like what what we do for our, sort of I think. Other places call them appraisals, so um, kind of like that. Well, I won't go into it too much. It's quite a lot work related, but um, yeah. Um, uh, afterwards, got home. Sort of had a chilled evening here, so um, I cooked some pasta and steak and uh, broccoli for dinner. So that was all mixed up, and uh, yeah, it was. Um, it was nice. Um, then I had a, a salted caramel de dessert. But um, I'm going to call it a night for tonight, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's um, Wednesday night, so I'm back in Fairham now. So I've sort of come here um, as we had the pub quiz tonight. So it's, uh, sort of, it's a slightly closer to where we have the pub quiz. And then I've got the day off tomorrow, so um, I can head back to Bournemouth then. But, um, yeah, no, it's worked out quite well. The only uh, downside, I'd say, is that I'd left my GoPro and um, my iPad back at m and my bag back at the flat. So I don't have access to those this evening, but we'll have those tomorrow. But, um, yeah, no, it was quite a good night at the pub quiz. Um... Uh, we came third again, so um, uh, Mike Francis, we let him have the prize, which was a, a bag of um, cheese and onion crisps. So it's not the kind of flavour I like, but um, yeah, I hope Francis enjoys them. But um, yeah, uh, so I shall see you guys tomorrow, hopefully back filming on my normal camera. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Well, it's uh, Thursday, so I'm now back at the flat, so got my GoPro back for this evening, so, um, yeah, so I had a um, nice lying back at home, uh, got up, had some breakfast, and then decided to drive over here, so, um, I came back here, I had to pop down to the bank for something, so, ended up doing that, and then sort of went round Bournemouth Town Centre for a bit, and then, um, got back and then went down the gym, so quite chuffed I've done that, I had a really, really good workout, so uh, feeling quite pumped, so yeah, um, then I got back, I had a salad for dinner, and I had some pomegranates for dessert, and then I um, also had a cheeky magnum as well, but um, I'm going to call it a night now for tonight, I'm going to be going to bed now, so... Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.
Well, it's uh, Friday, so I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different now. Um, uh, I've kind of been inspired by um, James May of Top Gear fame, which is... Um, uh, but it's uh, on their Food Tribe um, uh, website, and he did um, an interesting comparison the other day, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll try and give it a go and um, see how it goes. Now, um, he did um, a food compa compa comparison which was between um, spam and ham, and I thought, uh, you know what? I'll give it a go. So I've, I've gone and bought a couple of tins of this. So I had bought some spam, and I did do it with some salad and... Uh, well, actually, no, I did it with macaroni cheese, I think, the other week, but um, I've still got a second tin, so... Um, and then comparing it with Prince's ham. Now, he did state that they were both um, quality meat products, and I do admit I don't mind a bit of spam, but, um, yeah, give it a go. But here they are. Here's the tins. Um, spam and ham. Um, see, spam's a more oblong-shaped tin. Uh, ham's in a cylindrical, Spam has a ring pull, uh, Ham, you have to use the good old tin opener. Now I'm um, gonna uh, open both, make up a sandwich and give it a go. But to say, if you want to see James May's uh, one, it's on uh, his uh, Food Tribe site. And um, it's uh, so quite interesting, they do an interesting food and he tries to recreate a 1970s sandwich, but um, yeah, here goes. Uh, well, I'm not going to do a 70s sandwich, I'm just going to do a sandwich how I normally do it. Um, uh, I've got some white bread, um, so yeah, <clears throat> here goes. And uh, now, um, what I'm going to do, I've got the bread out here, so I'm going to, um, I've got two slices to put on one on top of the other. Sorry about the weird camera angles there, but, um, yeah, I am going to uh, cut this in half, so. Um, uh, so, that's just going, excuse my pretty poor cutting um, there, but uh, sort of trying to cut and film is a sort of quite an art, as you're probably seeing, but, um, yeah, we've got the... Um, I've got some butter here, so um, I know James may use margarine, but um, butter is what I have, and um, yeah, I um, might posh it up a bit here, but um, I'm just going to spread this now, and uh, here we are. Well, I, I hope that got it, it kind of cut out there, but uh, yeah, here's two buttered slices, now I'm going to get some cheese. Is, uh, my uh, cheese slice actually snapped it in two, so it's just gone on there. Uh, now to um, get the products out. Now I'm uh, going to open the ham first, um, as this needs a, a tin opener. Uh, but um, yeah, I've got my trusty tin opener here. Well, I say my trusty tin opener. This is probably the first time I'm using it. So um, yeah, uh, give it a go and uh, see if this goes okay. And uh, there is kind of the finished product. I've managed to open it. So the tin opener went quite smoothly. Um, as you can see, there's the ham. It's uh, quite textury and um, uh, quite... Um, uh, it's got a lot of gelatine in it, and yeah, the tin opener did quite well apart from the end bit, which just left a little bit attached there. So I'm going to break that off shortly, but um, it should be a bit easier opening the spam where it's got the ring pull. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and get it out the tin now. Well, with the help of um, a trusty fork, I managed to get the ham out of uh, its uh, tin. Now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is slice um, a couple of slices of this and then put it into the sandwich. Now, um, uh, I know James may sort of used a, a larger sandwich for it. Uh, I think he was feeding a couple of, um, he had his cameramen, but um, I'm going to put, a, put in a couple of slices, uh, which were a couple of circles, and then I'm going to, like James may did, cover it with cling film and put it back in my fridge. But... Um, yeah, I think I'll get that slice, put that in the sandwich, then I'll open the spam. Well, 
I've uh, sliced some of the, the ham, but it didn't go too well. It kind of broke up, so maybe I should have um, followed the instructions and chilled it. But um, yeah, I've got enough to make a sandwich there. I've put the rest of the ham back in there. I'm going to be covering that with cling film later. Um, but now, on to opening the, the spam. Uh, as you can see, um, spam is uh, a bit more easier to open with the ring pull, um, but then the issue is then getting it out. Um, there is a way to get it out without using a fork, but I think for time's sake, um, I will probably just use the fork and or a knife and just these it out that way. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to take that lid off and then probably cut my couple of slices up and. And uh, yeah, um, uh, then let the taste test begin. Well, this is just amazing. By bashing the tin and squeezing it, I've actually not needed to use the knife on the spam. It's uh, all come out in once. So that's uh, a bit of a skill. So uh, yeah, quite chuffed at that. James May did need to use a knife. But now uh, for slicing it. Uh, well, um, slicing the hat, the spam went a lot easier. Um, yeah, uh, I've got two really even bits there, and um, the slight issue on the first one, but that was more my uh, poor handwork on there. But um, yeah, almost ready. I've, I've done a sort of like plain cheese sandwich. That's uh, I like my cheese, but that's sort of to get a bit of the flavour. I know James may use salad cream, but I'm not really into salad cream. But uh, here goes. Well, I've sat down at my table now, so I'm going to try the, the sarni. So uh, this one is the spam, and uh, this one is the uh, um, ham. So I think I'm going to try the ham first. So here goes. Um, it's 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 okay. Um, I'm just gonna try the the actual ham, the spam now. I think I have to agree with James May's findings as well. The spam certainly has more flavour into it and um, is more stronger to hold up on the sandwich. The ham is more delicate and um, probably, as he said, would be something to, to go on either a cracker or a, um, a piece of Melba bread. But, um, yeah, um, it's... Uh, um, I'm going to finish these off now and then I'll um, probably do a bit of a catch up on how my day went but I thought I'd uh, do something a bit different today as I failed on the uh, fridge challenge but um, anyway I will see you guys uh, a bit later. Well um, overall Friday's been okay, I hope you did enjoy that uh, little, uh, that's something a bit different, so it was uh, my um, ham versus spam chow challenge um I say inspired by James May but yeah overall today's been good um got up um uh, had my breakfast here so that's what I'm liking I'm being a bit adventurous these days so I'm making myself some coffee here um kind of meant that I've stopped going to the coffee shop at work a little bit less that is saving some money but um on the other hand, I do like the coffee there, so I did pop there again today. So, um, so I had a couple, a double my caffeine dose, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be heading off to bed now, so getting quite late. Um, I've got a half a day at work tomorrow, and then probably heading back. Um, also, need to get some washing on. I haven't done any uh, this week, so I've got um, 
had to sort through my uh, laundry basket. But um, anyways, um, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, probably back in Fairham. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Well, it's uh, Saturday now, so I had um, a good shift at work today and then um, went back to the flat, I did some cleaning, uh, got my bathroom cleaned up, did a wipe round the kitchen, um, had a uh, jacket potato as well, so there was a potato there and I, I did that with some of the um, leftover ham as well, so it's uh, quite a nice lunch, um, still got the spam there, so I uh, might uh, cook up something with it this week, but um, yeah. Um, it's, uh, I'm here back in Fairham tonight, uh, so it's actually second night this week, so, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's sort of kind of nice to be home, but, um, uh, it's sort of kind of like I, I have two homes now, I mean, this is sort of, uh, my family home, and I've got my own home, but, uh, yeah, but, so um, I'm heading back tomorrow, hopefully going to do the pub quiz. Uh, I think there's a few of us going to be going, so yeah, um, hopefully it's uh, going to be quite a good one and I uh, might meet up with some friends tomorrow during, during the day as well. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sort of turn it in for tonight and uh, see you guys tomorrow. So I'll probably get a, a round up back at the flat as well. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Well, it's uh, Sunday night now, so we're going to do a bit of a round-up of the week. So, I think I'll start with what I did today. So, I had a good lie-in. Um, I went to Dunelm uh, today and bought a new bin. So, it's still in my car. I haven't brought it up tonight, but it's um, a, quite a big bin. It has two compartments, one for recycling stuff, and I think the, the other's going to be just for general waste. So, that will sort of suit me near my kitchen um, and decide exactly where it's going to sit yet and what the space is going to be like but um, yeah um, then uh, I went and got my car washed it was absolutely filthy the car and it was a bit overdue so uh, I went to my usual place near my parents um, afterwards I went home had dinner then um, on the way back here stopped off for the pub quiz now um, we didn't have any points deductions this week, but unfortunately we didn't win. Um, we did lose by nine points, so we did have a fairly tough final round. Uh, but one of our team, Helen, they have a key game at the pub, which um, last week there was over £200 in, but somebody won it last week. But Helen won £60 this week, so um, well done to Helen. And uh, uh, so we all insisted that... So she did try and share out her winnings, but where she's got kids, we just now said, no, no, you, you spend it on your kids. And um, it, that I felt that was sort of quite fair. And, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, I've, I've actually brought my tree down here now. So it's the first, it is the 1st of December. So um, I've got some Christmas decorations in here, but, I, well, it's still in the I'm not too sure I'm going all out. It's uh, sort of it's one sort of buying the stuff, but um, it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lack of space as well. But um, yeah, but uh, say so this week's been quite interesting. I did the um, the spam uh, versus ham challenge, which you probably just seen and um, uh, I had a night back in Fairham midweek so so this is the first not time in a few weeks I've spent uh, more than two nights in a week back at my parents but um, well it was over uh, two set not not consecutive days but um, I think maybe next week I may have a bit of a longer week here and then probably back to my parents. It's uh, we've got Jim's birthday coming up, and also a couple of weeks I've got our work's Christmas party. So, yeah, busy um, December coming up, and then uh, I'm thinking again this year 
uh, going to vlog something pretty much near to Christmas, but um, to take the time off between Christmas and New Year and have a break from vlogging, I think it works well for me. Um, I have a lot of things on and things such as my birthday and things which I like to do with family, but um, yeah, uh, it's uh, um, going to be interesting this one. Um, going, uh, I think I'm probably going to go back to my parents uh, over Christmas, but um, it's uh, uh, sort of it, I'm going to come back in, in because I've got work down here. But it's, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting reflect back on this year, and, um, uh, yeah. But, um, anyway, I will, um, see you guys next week, and say as always, please like and subscribe, your comments are always welcome. Um, I hope the food challenge sort of mixed that up a bit during, well, the, the spam versus ham mixed it up, but, uh, Anyways, um, I will see you guys next week.